Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's episode, episode number 25, we are going to be opening some more packs. Packed. Uh, this is going to be team of the season pack opening part 4. And this is episode number 25, if I am not mistaken. We are quarter way through our episode 100. So that is actually pretty insane. Episode 25. Now what we are going to be doing in this particular episode is, like I said, we are going to be opening packs. Now I was actually thinking of opening torch base pack and seeing how our luck is like opening a couple of them and then heading over to exchanges and opening exchanges so i would i'm actually going to do that you know this video is not going to be out of the world just yet but it's going to start with a lot of positive energy because i have not opened this in my lifetime and if we get cr7 out of this it's gonna be insane so yeah let us get started pack number one we don't get a walkout but we get fodder which is very important right now because we need to do exchanges guys we need to do exchanges a lot so i need a lot of lower rated cards and higher rated cards as well more silver and more 80s that is really nice now make sure you guys also keep opening packs like this these torch standard packs and torch base packs because you'll get a lot of fodder out of this now the reason i'm opening this is mainly because of fodder as you guys can see now I'm gonna stop with this if we don't get here. Yeah, we're gonna stop with this base pack and we'll open start standard packs for now. And then we'll open a couple of these and we'll head over to we'll head over to what? I have no clue what we're gonna head over to, but we are gonna head over to exchanges and hopefully we'll get some crazy exchanges done there. 84 it is the highest here. Okay. I think my pack luck has gone down a lot because I'm not packing anything grace out of these uh, packs. But yeah, it is what it is. A, a, a walkout. 85 rated. Yes. 85 rated for Fana. I had a feeling every time it's a walkout, it's going to be an 85 rated. That's that's just how it is. Now for um, Ligun, I'm not going to be opening packs. Most probably for Ligun, I don't think there's going to be much content from FC Mobile. So I'm gonna go to FC24 a lot. I'll be posting uh, player career mode, all that good stuff. But yeah, we're still gonna be posting daily content on this channel. 87 to the center back, you know, not bad. Uh, now we'll stop with packs and we'll go to exchanges. This video is gonna be short, guys. This video is gonna be super, super short because I wanted to show you guys how this base pack is main idea for recording this video and posting this video on YouTube to so for you guys to see is just to show you guys how the torch base pack is if it's worth it if it's you know why you should do that all that stuff but yeah at the same time we open standard pack we got a couple of workouts and then we will go head over to exchanges in a minute let's just you know check out the squad so this is how the squad is looking for now our uh, rtg squad actually and the main squad is also 98 rated it's a bit similar because highland is not there except highland i mean highland is not there and wait why is lucio still here do we take out lucio and add adam Militao? but he loses an overall how is that possible how is that even possible how do we lose an overall? I don't understand how we lost an overall. I'm gonna remove algebra. I have no clue what ma the mathematics and mathing guys. But we removed a 95 rated player, putting in a 96 rated player, and somehow still uh, we were difficult. It was hard to maintain a 98 rated squad. But yeah, it's okay. I don't need substitutes. I'm gonna just roll with these guys. So yeah, this is how the squad is looking so far. Pretty decent squad, you know. Uh, R9 and Highland leading the attack and then we have Socrates. I might change Socrates. I'm not sure yet. I'm just thinking if it is worth putting in my uh, Mascherano rank up cards into Bruno Fernandes and getting him to 97 or 98. I don't know if it's worth it or not. But my brain is leaning towards it. Now I can send uh, Socrates to level 20 I think if I train him or okay it is max strength so yeah i think as of now team is looking good team is looking feisty feisty however you pronounce it but yeah uh lunin lunin to the moon as well because he is a massive 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 player guys even if you play fc24 
if you use the silver lunin 90 74 rated silver lunin he is so good he is so good his reaction time is a bit slow but he is really good i am using lunin in my main squad which is actually a 92 rated overall squad and i'm using it in div 6 and stuff so it is actually pretty cool now let us head over to exchanges okay now the main reason i'm opening exchanges is to somehow try and get mr cr7 the 98 rated striker lovely my king cr7 now i don't know what to you know i don't want to put those uh, team of the season players in because i can use them here i can literally put these three here and you know wait for a few more and be happy with it so i am gonna do this i was actually trying to save these guys for la liga talks but i'm too impatient and i for some reason still have hope that will get cr7 make sure you guys you know check out the instagram reels and uh, youtube shots as well of the clips channel because i am posting my pack openings there as well every time oh my god it's gonna be the center back or the goretzka yeah 94 rated goretzka why are 94 rated haunting me 94 rated players are haunting me guys like it is so sad like what did i do to these guys Please give me a good card. Please give me a good. Will we ever? Will we ever pack a good card? I don't know. Let us just try. Torch player into three. 94 to 99. Give me a 95 rated card. I've been opening packs for Bundesliga team of the season. Not once have I crossed 94. I've been getting 94 consistently. Consistently, I've been getting 94. This is just sad. At this point, it is just sad. I don't know what to do to get. Oh my god, and now I see Germany. It's gonna be that Anton guy. Okay. I asked can they deliver, but they still deliver Simons and Milinkovic Savage along with Slaughterbeck. But Slaughterbeck, how do I feel about Slaughterbeck? Is he worth it? Is he worth the pain and the struggle? I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. But I'm gonna stop it for now, guys. I am just too sad sitting and opening this team of the season for Bundesliga I hope when uh, league one drops I will not open anymore for Bundesliga when league one drops I hope we will have something good in league one at least like a 95 or a 96 rated player if I get I'll be happy I am not looking to pack the great Mbappe and stuff but I just need a better card I am losing my brain cells over these 94 rated cards guys but yeah I will see you guys in another video and another episode. Until then, take care. Stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling.